Calculate the intensity of an earthquake based on the amount of observed motion. An earthquake's Richter scale mo measurement is calculated using the formula given there, where A is the amplitude of the observed motion in micrometers. What is the amplitude, A, of the earthquake that measured 5.75 5 on the Richter scale? Now, the easiest way of doing this would just be to insolve this because they're giving us the formula and telling us to plug 5.75 on the Richter scale. So you put the 5.75 there equals this. And I would just substitute an X in there. And then you would do comma after you type in the equation, do comma X, press enter. And this should give us our answer. And we'll come back to that in a second. But now I'm going to do it using good old fashioned algebra. You'd set it that 5.75 in there. You got the 3.75 plus log of whatever we're looking for, and that's A. Now, to solve a logarithm, we first isolate it. So I subtract 3.75, and as it turns out, I get a great number here. I get that 2 equals log of A. Now, if you remember, there's two ways of solving a log. One is if we have 1 to 1, which means a log over here, which we don't. So if you can't solve it that way, you switch it to exponential. Now, exponentially, you know the base. So the base is 10. So 10, and now these two values flip-flop. So 10 to the power of 2 equals A. That means that A must equal 100. And that would be my answer here. Now, let's just check in the calculator real quick, just to make sure we, met, we did not make a mistake. Uh, I'll go over here, New Document. And I'm going to go to Calculator. And to insolve, you press Menu. You go to Algebra, Menu 3, and then there it is, Numerical Solve, number 1, Menu 3, 1. And we type in the equation, 5.75 equals 3.75 plus log, which is over here, Control 10 to the power of X, log. The base, we didn't show one, so I'll leave that empty, and X, and then I do comma X. It'll automatically put the 10 there, it's a common logarithm, and it says the answer is, in fact, 100. So we did it correctly.